In this problem, we're going to prove that the probability of the impossible event uh, is equal to zero. So here, this is the empty set. So in order to do this, um, we are going to use the axioms of probability. So I'm going to briefly, briefly recall uh, what those are. So axiom one says that the probability of any event A is greater than or equal to zero for all A, for all events A. Axiom two states that the probability of the sample space is equal to one. And axiom three says that whenever you have some events, A1, A2, etc., if these are mutually exclusive events, then when you take the probability of the union, you get um, you get the sum p a one plus p a two plus dot dot dot. Okay. So proof. Let's see if we can figure it out. So we have the empty set, or you know the impossible event, and we somehow um, do show it's equal to zero. So what I am thinking is uh, maybe um, we can involve uh, this here, right? The probability of s equals one. Because I think if we involve that, I think it's going to lead us, perhaps, perhaps to something good. So note, how can we write s involving the empty set? Well, we can write it as s union the empty set. Then note, if we intersect s with the empty set, we get the empty set. So s and the empty set are mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive. And we need this so we can apply axiom three now. So we have, now we have, let's take the probability of both sides, take the probability of S, that's equal to the probability of S union the empty set. And this is equal to the probability of s plus the probability of the empty set. And this is key. This is this step here is by axiom three. Okay, super important. So it's always important to uh, indicate uh, where you use the axioms when you're doing these problems. So uh, here we used it here, right? Because we know that these are mutually exclusive events. We have a union, so we can break up this probability into two different probabilities. Okay. So now, or note, the probability of S is equal to one, and this is by axiom two. So now what we can do is we can go back in here and plug in ones. So we have one equals, and then this piece here, one plus the probability of the impossible event or the empty set. And then we just subtract one from both sides we have the probability of the empty set, and that is equal to zero. Boom, we did it. So not too bad, um, pretty simple problem. Um, you just, just have to use the axioms, right? And then I, I think maybe, uh, you know, this part, knowing to do this, I mean, I mean, what else can you do, right? So, <laughs> you know, you have a number here, you have a one, and then you think, okay, how can you break up S? Well, and then once you get this, I think it's pretty easy to see what to do next because, you take the probability of both sides of this, and these are mutually exclusive, so you can use axiom three, and then the fact that that's one, then it all works out. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.